Test 5. Listening Part 1. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions 1 to 8, choose the best answer, A, B or C. Question 1. You hear two TV critics talking about presenters of science programmes. I think science programmes have got so much better recently. In terms of content, definitely. And also in the way that complex scientific information is communicated by the scientists to TV audiences. Well, that's down to the individuals who are presenters, some of whom are celebrities. It's one thing to be a scientist in a research lab and another to be able to present your subject to non-experts. That's why this generation of presenters deserves such praise. It's rare nowadays to watch a science programme on TV that's so abstract you can't understand a word. I think science programmes have got so much better recently. In terms of content, definitely. And also in the way that complex scientific information is communicated by the scientists to TV audiences. Well, that's down to the individuals who are presenters, some of whom are celebrities. It's one thing to be a scientist in a research lab and another to be able to present your subject to non-experts. That's why this generation of presenters deserves such praise. It's rare nowadays to watch a science programme on TV that's so abstract you can't understand a word. Question 2. You hear a psychologist talking about friendship. Friendship plays a crucial role in our lives, so it's not surprising that there are so many songs about friends. Like many people, my closest friends have been an important part of my life over decades. The people whose company I enjoy most are those that I have a shared past with, going back to childhood. Together, we remember the trouble we got into in class, games we played, and things we celebrated together. That connection remains strong today, even if we don't share the same hobbies now. In my mind, I always make a clear separation between work colleagues and close friends. Friendship plays a crucial role in our lives, so it's not surprising that there are so many songs about friends. Like many people, my closest friends have been an important part of my life over decades. The people whose company I enjoy most are those that I have a shared past with, going back to childhood. Together, we remember the trouble we got into in class, games we played, and things we celebrated together. That connection remains strong today, even if we don't share the same hobbies now. In my mind, I always make a clear separation between work colleagues and close friends. Question 3. You hear two friends talking about holidays. Where are you going on holiday this year, Samantha? To Melville Island in the Northern Territories. It's about 80 kilometres north of Darwin. Do you always visit islands on holiday, or does it just seem that way? No, you're right. There's something I find absolutely fascinating about visiting small islands. It's true to say island life is calmer and quieter than life in the city, but for me, no two islands are alike. They all have their own customs and traditions developed over time, and that's their appeal. Anyway, I can't wait for my holiday to come around. Where are you going on holiday this year, Samantha? To Melville Island in the Northern Territories. It's about 80 kilometres north of Darwin. Do you always visit islands on holiday, or does it just seem that way? No, you're right. There's something I find absolutely fascinating about visiting small islands. It's true to say island life is calmer and quieter than life in the city, but for me, no two islands are alike. They all have their own customs and traditions developed over time, and that's their appeal. 
Anyway, I can't wait for my holiday to come around. Question 4. You hear a man telling his wife about a product review he has read online. Have you found any online reviews for the phone you want to get? I'm looking at one now that says, don't buy it because it's the worst phone on the market. That's got to be someone playing some kind of a joke, surely. Maybe a dissatisfied customer or someone who hasn't even bought one of these phones. I mean, this phone is just an upgraded version of your current model, so it doesn't make sense to say the new one's inferior. Maybe check out a few other reviews before making your mind up. Exactly. Have you found any online reviews for the phone you want to get? I'm looking at one now that says, don't buy it because it's the worst phone on the market. That's got to be someone playing some kind of a joke, surely. Maybe a dissatisfied customer or someone who hasn't even bought one of these phones. I mean, this phone is just an upgraded version of your current model, so it doesn't make sense to say the new one's inferior. Maybe check out a few other reviews before making your mind up. Exactly. Question 5. You hear a woman leaving a voicemail message. Hello. This is Lauren Ray. I have an appointment at 2.30 today. I'm calling to let you know I may be a few minutes late. I'm on my way from work now, and the freeway's pretty clear, so hopefully I won't be too late. I don't know what happened. I left my office really early, but on the way to the parking lot, I ran into a former co-worker, and before I knew it, half an hour had passed. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience. See you soon. Hello. This is Lauren Ray. I have an appointment at 2.30 today. I'm calling to let you know I may be a few minutes late. I'm on my way from work now, and the freeway's pretty clear, so hopefully I won't be too late. I don't know what happened. I left my office really early, but on the way to the parking lot, I ran into a former co-worker, and before I knew it, half an hour had passed. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience. See you soon. Question 6. You hear two students discussing their project on public parks. Sally Ann, could I ask you about the project on public parks? I was going to choose my favourite park and analyse how important the artworks in it are to people who go there. I'm wondering if that's a good choice. Interesting topic, but I'd say go for something broader, like the historical development of parks, and pick at least one other park to compare it with. Yes, good idea. I can still use my local park as one example. Is my topic different enough from yours? Yeah, I'm looking into the social function of public parks. You know, what role they play and how useful they are as community spaces. Sally Ann, could I ask you about the project on public parks? I was going to choose my favourite park and analyse how important the artworks in it are to people who go there. I'm wondering if that's a good choice. Interesting topic, but I'd say go for something broader, like the historical development of parks, and pick at least one other park to compare it with. Yes, good idea. I can still use my local park as one example. Is my topic different enough from yours? Yeah, I'm looking into the social function of public parks, you know, what role they play and how useful they are as community spaces. Question 7. You hear a woman talking about growing up with lots of cousins. My parents both had brothers and sisters and my aunts and uncles all have children. So when we were growing up, family gatherings were huge. You can imagine how long it took to get everyone organised for family photographs. 
Sometimes there were disagreements. No, that's too strong a word. But there were little jealousies over who had the best toys. Overall, though, I have happy memories of growing up with my cousins, and I sometimes wish we didn't all live so far apart. It'd be great to catch up with them all and find out what they've all achieved as adults. My parents both had brothers and sisters, and my aunts and uncles all have children. So when we were growing up, family gatherings were huge. You can imagine how long it took to get everyone organised for family photographs. Sometimes there were disagreements. No, that's too strong a word. But there were little jealousies over who had the best toys. Overall, though. I have happy memories of growing up with my cousins, and I sometimes wish we didn't all live so far apart. It'd be great to catch up with them all and find out what they've all achieved as adults. Question eight: You hear a university student talking about his studies. I'm in the second year of my four-year degree course. Next year, I'll be working in industry or in a research laboratory, which is something all science undergraduates here are offered the chance to do. I'm really looking forward to it, as it might lead to a great job once I graduate. This placement is unlikely to be in my university town, so I'll need to relocate. I originally got accepted to do a general science degree. But as soon as I got here and started a module on biochemistry, I knew that was what I really wanted to specialize in. Luckily, the university let me switch courses. That's not always guaranteed. I'm in the second year of my four-year degree course. Next year, I'll be working in industry or in a research laboratory. Which is something all science undergraduates here are offered the chance to do. I'm really looking forward to it, as it might lead to a great job once I graduate. This placement is unlikely to be in my university town, so I'll need to relocate. I originally got accepted to do a general science degree, but as soon as I got here and started a module on biochemistry, I knew that was what I really wanted to specialize in. Luckily, the university let me switch courses. That's not always guaranteed. That is the end of part one.